Yo, what's up, chat? We're gonna get started soon. Just tweeting out the stream. Someone said Gamma's VA diet? Yes, in 2001, after the release of Sonic Adventure 2. Gamma's voice actor died. I barely got any viewers because they probably don't know this is a Sonic stream. Probably because it starts off with someone's name. But yes, Steve Brody. Or Brody without the A. Or Steve Shepard Brody. There's so many spellings. But Steve Brody was the voice of E102. Gamma was the voice of one of those older kidnas in Adventure as well. And he was actually the voice of the Mystic Ruins train announcer. So I didn't know that. I didn't know that one. He's also the voice of the president in SA2. So, yeah, he's done some stuff for the Adventure Era. And he died after the release of SA2. And today would have been his 70th birthday. According to the date of birth that says 1949. Because there's another one that says 1948. These voice actors, they don't have enough clout like, to, to where their dates are like, you know, confirmed. Right? It's all over the place. Some are saying 1948, some are saying 49. The game credits him as Brody as B R O D I E, but apparently that's a misspelling and it's actually B R O A D I E. Like, so yeah, these voice actors they, they need some more respect. Like, how are we getting their names like wrong and shit and their date of birth? But if 1949 is the correct year, then that means that the voice of Gamma's birthday is today, and he turned he would have turned 70 today had he not died in 2001. So. I gotta do an appreciation stream. We're gonna be playing Gamma Story in full to commemorate a voice acting legend. So yeah, pretty much. <sighs> so we're gonna get into this. I should have tweeted out. I should have been more specific. Let me do another link. Just let the song play out and then we'll get in. Wait, how are you going to do that? You need to play a Sonic and unlock Gamma, don't you? Good points! I almost forgot about that, but no, I have a file that has Gamma ready to go, so don't worry about that. It's actually my old file for my Sonic Adventure. DX playthrough that I was supposed to finish on this channel, but I never did. I did, um, how far did I get in that playthrough, actually? Let me check. Um, let's play. I'm fucking rewind and it's doing that thing where it skips. I got, how far did I get? Nah, that's loud. I did Sonic Story, Tales, Knuckles, and Amy. Yeah, so I had a file with, like, Big and Gamma, just ready to, like, ready to do, like, um, those two for my adventure playthrough which never got finished but yeah so i just copied that file and yeah we're good to go so pretty much let's get into this 
<sighs> oh, we got Gamma's voice in the intro. Perfect timing, right? Um, Prem, guess what? I got a Lion Guard plush in the mail. Lion Guard? I don't know what that is. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Gamma, best robot. I mean, not to disrespect the man on his birthday, but come on. Like, Omega is out here, like, you know. Omega, like, you know, he just he just knocked it out of the park. Man, the viewers are low, though. Like, what's going on? I guess it's the time I'm streaming, but still, like... Hey, while I'm waiting for this intro to play out, non-Sonic channel, link in the description if you like my non-Sonic content. Oh, much love. I will never let... Okay, but if you like my non-Sonic content, check that out. There's videos there with face cam and everything. So, and if you want to support this channel, there's also a link for that. If you feel like you want to financially support the channel, that's up to you. Someone said turn up the volume. Like, do I sound quiet in the chat? What's going on? I was looking away from the mic for a sec, so I don't know. Some people are saying I'm fine. Um. Select your fire. Let me check the levels quickly. Um, yeah, Mike seems to be on the same level as usual. Um, hand me the bird. That's, that's, that's like my favorite gamma line. Like when he says, "Hand me the bird." But yeah, we're gonna get into this right now. So yeah, as I said, I've got a far ready to go. That would have been embarrassing if I did it. <laughs> Oh god, I almost forgot, but nah, we're gonna we're gonna get into this. Mm, 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 mm. But you guys have gotta remind me to get one of the upgrades because I swear if you don't get one in time, then that's it. Like full system full power. This game looks so good. I've got the Dreamcast conversion mod on actually. Which I don't usually use because I don't really like the guy who makes it. <laughs> Plus, I actually prefer a lot of the DX aesthetics, but I feel like because the voice actor was only alive for the regular adventure and not for DX, I feel like I had to use Dreamcast conversion for it. Do you think there'll be a remake of Adventure? I think at some point, yeah, because Sega love to copy what is working, and Crash and Spyro have done it. I just, I just believe that there'll be a remake. I don't know when, but I don't have hover duh. E101 beta is there practicing? Someone said they can't wait for Forces 2. I can wait. You're not as advanced as beta is, but you'll do fine. How are you gonna tell your new robot that he's not as advanced as as your previous robot? Like, come on, have some respect for your creation, Eggman. Alright, destroy the Sonic doll. Alright, so the timer's going down and we have to basically keep it from going to zero. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Some people said they would have liked to see that in Adventure 2 because then it's like, I guess, more challenging. But honestly, aside from the timer thing, I honestly think the mech stages in SA2 are way more challenging and engaging, to be honest. Oh, it's so weird not having the fucking the, the hover. I need to get that soon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can actually get up to the top of there. I think there's a way to get up there. But, yeah. 
Do you think they will remake Adventure 1 of 2 in Heroes? I explained this before. I said they wouldn't do that because they're separate games with separate play styles that are so different that you wouldn't just do it in one game. Like with Crash 1, 2, and 3, I mean, there's differences. Crash 3 had the vehicles and the Crash 2 had the slide and 3 had additional moves and stuff, but it's still, it's still the same. Like, it's not like... Like, SA2, with the speed gameplay and the mechs and the the, pa the treasure hunting, like, there's similarities. But for them, like, there's way more assets as well. I just don't see them doing SA1, 2 Heroes in one remake package. They would do SA1, feel it out, see what people are saying, and then after that, maybe they would consider SA2. Alright, I think I remember how to do this thing. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, go there. Go like that. Then I did it wrong. Okay. Ugh. Gamma. Alright. I almost had it as well. What's the worst? Alright. One, two. I need to light up those two. I literally had it and then I ended up. Ugh, God. Mmm. Yeah, I messed it up. I completely messed it up. I had it and then I messed it up because I was messing up my control movement like of Gamma. Okay. There we go. There we go. We got it. 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 Yeah, I really... Without the hover, this shit is just weird. Someone said they want an 06 remake so they can fix the box and remove the humans. Oh no, Ugh, no. What is it with Sonic fans and their hatred of humans? Like, humans exist. We are humans. I'm not even supposed to go here, am I? I just spent all that time doing nothing, didn't I? Yep. I'm clearly rusty with his story, but <laughs> yeah, I was just, I wasn't supposed to go there, was I? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you had what it takes. Look at Eggman just putting down his fucking enemies. Like you create the dude talking about you didn't you didn't have what it takes. Here's your test. If you want to stay on board, you must be able to pass it. So pay attention to what I say. Man, Eggman mean as fuck though, shit. The almighty egg carrier is a flying fortress that needs a good crew. Just call him Beta. Alright, we're gonna destroy this in like five seconds. But yeah, back on that 06 point, like, I couldn't stand, like, forces where it's, like, no humans and only animals shit. Like, it just bothers me when I see, like, Sonic games that are just animals. Which, it didn't bother me in Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, but, like, in a game? I don't know, like, it's just... <sighs> but I was never against the concept of Sonic being in the real world. Like, I know people don't like that, but I was fine with that. Oh, look, it's Gamer Guide. The one who hasn't played the goats. Someone said there isn't much a Mario Maker sequel could do. What? Huh? What? Huh? What? What? Have you seen the trailer for Mario Maker 2? Have you seen Game Explains one and a half hour analysis of all the new features that are being added to Mario Maker 2 to say that there's not much they could do with a sequel? Gamer guy said he has to finish watching Game Grumps play SA2 first, of course. He said, I'm happy you're streaming this with Steve Brody. I mean, I had to represent. I had to represent. Like, come on. I would have done the same for even Roger. And he's not my favorite Sonic voice. Although, actually, if I was doing a Roger appreciation stream, I'd probably play Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I've just never understood the hate for human characters. Like, he lives in a world full of humans. Like, so? Like, you know? But a lot of things about 06, I will defend to my grave. I'm not going to defend them rushing up the game, but I'll defend. 
the, the art style or the realistic graphics that they were trying to go for or the fact that there were humans there. Game guy said he can't appreciate someone's blocked him. I mean, no one told him to make a video dissing Sonic voice actors, but you know. Someone said, ever heard of Eggman? Eggman is like the only human that Sonic fans like to tolerate. Aside from that, no other human is allowed to be in a series. It's actually funny because in the Mario series, the main characters are usually human, like Mario, Luigi, Peach, so. But then the villain is an animal. But then in the Sonic series, everyone are usually animals, and then the villain is a human. Like, you could. you I, I just imagine Sega just sitting there, like, like, we need to copy them, but then not make it too obvious. Let's, let's make the antagonist. Wait. Protagonist is the good one, right? Ooh, we just saw Cream the Rabbit. Let's make the protagonist uh, an animal, and then make the antagonist human. That way they won't know that we copied Mario, like... <laughs> Alright, so we're in Station Square now. What's dude saying? We'll fight till we drop. Did the government send you, you agents out to suppress us? Well, don't bother. We won't give in to threats and violence. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, without the hover, it's so weird. Was I supposed to have gotten that by now, or is it not? Is it not time yet? Of course, Roger didn't watch the whole vid gamer guide. He saw the title that said Sonic voice actors suck, and then he saw the thumbnail with his face on it that said silence is golden. He didn't really need to watch the whole video after that. If I made a video saying Sonic CD sucks, you know, and then someone didn't watch it and they assumed that I thought Sonic CD sucks. I wouldn't blame them because I made a video titled Sonic CD Sucks. Like, that's that's kind of what you get for using that as your title. Oh, yeah, I remember the first time I figured this out. Like, I thought they would have just been lazy and just let Gamma go into the water. But they were like, nah, he a robot. He can't do that shit. We're going to make him float over the thing. Like, it's a, it's a nice little touch. Mm -mm. Oh, I love when he, when he runs and then he does that thing and he rolls into a corner. Like, does the screen work here? Mmm... Game guy said, I really like Gamma's story much than I thought I would. Much better than the bad mech levels in SA2. Game guy, enough of you and your hot takes. Eggman's levels in SA2 are legendary. Iron Gate is iconic. That's probably like the first Sonic level I ever played. Iron Gate. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be getting... Wait, do I need combos in this? I forgot. That was SA2 that relied heavily on combos. Mm, you can still get combos here. Mmm, 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 mmm. I mean, these levels are so easy, so like, I'm not gonna have any problems here anyway, so I'm not even worried. I could probably beat this whole level without even killing any enemies and getting the time bonus he said as he lost his rings, but you know, hear me out. Wait, so if he floats on the water, does that mean I could just like literally just go on top of all the water and just be fine? One thing about SA1 that if they do a remake, they have to change. They have to add a ranking system because I just feel like it's like when I play Classic Sonic, I have no incentive to play well because it's like, well, there's no ranking system. I could take 10 minutes. I could take two minutes. And it's just the same, you know, unless you're doing like the bonus missions. But yeah, like Gamer Guy said, come on, you and I like SA1 better. In my top 10, SA2 is right off the SA1. So it's not like I despise one. There's things I love about SA2 more than SA1. There's things I love about SA1 more than SA2. I think the whole world and the adventure feeling of SA1, which was replicated in 06 and Unleashed, I think that's just better for an adventure game. SA2 felt too not like an adventure game because of that, that that missing of the whole world. But I guess you had the Chow world, which kind of made up for it. But for Heroes, it was fine because it, it wasn't trying to be an adventure game. But for SA2 to take out the hub worlds and everything. I, I didn't like that. But this things I love about SA2, like the addition of rail grinding, the addition of a ranking system to incentivize you to play better. And all sorts of things like... So it's a, it's a tough one. I've never really done an SA1 versus 2 comparison video, but you know. Gamer Guy, obviously Gamer Guy is slandering Adventure Arrow with this, with this but it's so like... SA2 added rail grinding. That was amazing. SA2 had harder levels, like Crazy Gadget and Final Rush, which I love those levels. SA2 had, in my opinion, better mech levels, especially the Eggman, like Cosmic Wall and Lost Colony were amazing. Iron Gate was such a great opener. 
It's mainly the treasure hunting that makes me put like SA SA one over two, and also the control of SA one Sonic and the spin dash and things like that. Someone in the chat said this presents a problem. Yeah, I love that line. I I was kind of talking over it. Someone said they don't like Knuckles at all in SA two. Huge nerf. Oh, you mean the radar nerf? Well, because this movement is not really nerfed. This movement is an improvement over SA1, but his radar was nerfed, yeah. Someone said Joker from Persona 5 versus Kirby. Who would win? I mean, I don't really follow Persona, but Kirby. Someone said they love the SA2 mech stage, but they wish you didn't lose so much momentum while turning. I usually just hover to keep my my, my my momentum going. Someone said badly modeled chap. Come on guys, this is Dreamcast graphics. I cut them some slack. Someone said play Sonic Boom. Mm. When the emulator can run it, then I will, because I'm not buying that at full price. Now my father is trying to take their sacred home. Someone said they'll prefer Sonic Adventure reimagining, like what Insomniac it did for Ratchet and Clank. I don't trust Sega, so I, that's probably why I would hesitate with that. But they could, if they were to do a reimagine, they would have, we'd have to trust that they could do it properly. With a remake, they could just remake the levels in the entirety and then add content, like add a super hard mode, which is like harder version of the levels. I just got Sonic X flashbacks when I just saw that cutscene right now. The My Frog is the right one. Someone said, can you do Sonic Battle? That was like literally my childhood and I haven't touched that game in like over a decade. It's so weird. Ah, mm -hmm. dummy, 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 dummy. Someone said the Game Grumps make all Sonic games except Mania look bad. Well, they're Game Grumps, so. I'm not surprised that Game Grumps make Sonic look bad. If they play Heroes, we are going to throw hands. I hope Whitehead makes a 3D Sonic game. Is there anyone I trust to make a good Sonic game? I wouldn't say he should make it on his own. But I think he should handle the control department, the physics and the movement. I think I would trust him to recreate SA1 control in 3D. Mm -mm. Eggman just disrespecting his own creations. This one's easy. And a bird. Just. Get me that bird. Is this the one? The camera's voice is so bassy, like, damn. Mm. He just so blatantly walked into the spinning motion thing, went into the wrong door. Like, that's like, he fell for that shit. Someone said, you always play these fun Sonic games. Yeah, I mean, I stream Heroes 06, SA1. I mean, what more do you want? Aaron only likes Sonic games without any effort into playing them. Well, he didn't like Forces, did he? Did he? They played forces, right? I remember. I think they played forces. Beta. Man just saw castration. Like this is just Gamma's just traumatized now. This is the wrong room. Oh really, Gamma? It's the wrong. It's the wrong. Really? You didn't see a girl and a bird there? Mm -mm -mm. All right. I know there's an upgrade here that I got a cop. So 
I'm gonna try and find that shit now. Mm -hmm. This takes you to the child garden, right? I'm really rusty on Gamma's story, but I mean, I guess this is in all the stories. I think this is the child room. Not that I'm gonna spend time in here, but I just wanted to like try it. Yeah, it's the child room. Mm -mm. Someone said this scene is so messed up from Gamma's point of view. It's like watching someone get dismembered. Literally, like, for a robot, like, that shit is traumatizing. It reminds me of this TV show called Humans, which is an amazing show, by the way. You should watch. But, yeah, the robots become, like, conscious beings. And, like, one of them, like, they were not conscious at first, but there was a code release that made them conscious. And so one of them was working in some gruesome factory. Like, like it was just deplorable work conditions that no actual human would would you know work in like it would be like a violation of laws and shit but because they were robots they allowed it and basically because of that the trauma of that when she became conscious she basically became like a psychopath robot essentially like it was it was insane she had like no empathy for no one like ruthless motherfucker like where is the upgrade room that i'm looking for is it downstairs mm. Someone said the mech level was an SA204. Too, so much mech slant. Eggman had some of the best levels in that game. I stand by that. Okay, I don't see the upgrade yet, so I guess I'm in the wrong part. Oh, this is the hammer game. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Alright. Get ready for the best line in the game. This is... This is Gamma's best line, period. Like, not because of what he says, but how he says it. Like, just, just, just listen. Just, I can't even... Just listen to the... Oh, wait, this is the wrong one. Oh, they changed it. Because in Amy, because you know they changed the lines per story. In Amy's story, the line is, is different. He goes, hand me the bird. And then he goes like, quietly hand over the bird. Like, man. Someone said, Eggman greater than Gamma greater than Tails. Yeah, it's pretty much that. Pretty much that. Although I'd argue I still like Tails more than Gamma in terms of mech gameplay. But I can understand putting Gamma over Tails. So I'm said unpopular opinion forces the worst mainline Sonic the game. I agree. Like this is it's not unpopular. I mean some people say 06 because it has glitches. You know, therefore it's worse, but you know, that logic, I don't know. Because it doesn't try to, to try or do anything. 90% of the level designs, then your whole ways will you bet. That's basically it, like I mean, I have my, my ideas of what my idol Sonic game is, but at the bare minimum, I need to feel like I'm playing a game and not the game just playing itself, you know? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Do, 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 da, na, na, na. Mm, 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 mm. Most of the story is just cutscenes, let's be real. Like, <laughs> and all the space between every line just makes it so much longer. Someone said, buggy game bad, classic game good. That's pretty much the philosophy. 06 has more bugs, therefore it's worse than Forces, even though Forces has nothing going for it in terms of level design and gameplay, but it's got less glitches, so it's automatically better, basically. It loads faster, so at least it's over quicker. Mm -hmm. Someone said they think Shadow is worse than 06. I mean, that's not too unpopular of an opinion. Depends on who you ask. I mean, obviously, I'm going to say Shadow is worse than 06 because I love 06. But I want to I wanna show off that. <laughs> I want to show off the cutscene I'm talking about. Because, man, like, it's such a good... It's, his delivery. I retweeted it recently. I'm not even logged in on this account. But just look at it. Just, 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 just watch this. Watch this. Watch this. If they do an adventure remake, they cannot replace Gamma's voice. Look at how he calmly but menacingly delivers these two lines. Just, just I was just, so hyped when I recorded this. 
What do you want? Listen to this. Oh god, oh god. And then he comes back again. Oh god, that line. That line, that line. Hand me the bird. <laughs> oh god. Quietly hand over the bird. Alright, this is the cell that Emil's in, right? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I think Amy can use hammers to open it. Oh, I can just open it. Yeah, cool. God tier voice acting. Yep. Quietly hand over the bird. Alright. Da -na -na -na. Someone needs to remind me when it's time to get the second upgrade because if you don't get it in time, you can't get it. So, you know, I have to remember to get it. Wait, no, I can't go there yet. Wait. Forces doesn't challenge people's thinking because it doesn't challenge on a gameplay level. It tricks them into thinking it's okay. I mean, a lot of Sonic fans like the roller coaster of Sonic games where it's just like we're doing minimal work, but it's easy, therefore it's good. Like I've noticed that a lot of games that were considered easier were considered better. People always be like, "Fuck this zone, fuck that zone," and it's usually because it was hard. Like people be like, "Fuck Eggman Land." I'm like, Eggman Land was not a badly designed level. You just died a lot, so you hate it. Like. You don't want to improve. You don't want to get better. You just want the game to be easy on the first playthrough. Press and hold the jump button, and you'll float for a while. So we got the jet booster. All right, nice. Finally, the hover is so the hover doesn't have the same range as in SA2, which is another reason why I like SA2's mech stages more. Like you can like use the hover, and you can like really go far with it. Whereas here. He drops a lot further. It's kind of like comparing SA2 Glide to like Heroes Knuckles Glide, which obviously they nerfed for a good reason, but you know, still. Camera. Someone said you should play Fortnite on your other channel. Um, I know it's a non Sonic channel, but I can't be playing Fortnite. <laughs> I've only played it like once, and I, uh, it was okay. Someone said the boost games are still fun either way, whether you suck or not, minus colors and forces. Well, that's two out of the four boost games. So when you say they, the boost games are fun, minus half of them, you're basically saying half aren't fun. But, you know. But gens is easy. So if you suck at gens, you'll still complete the levels. Like, it's not hard. Um, as for Unleashed, well, Unleashed is a lot harder. And as you can see in the review scores, it was affected by that. Where am I going now? Wait, no, that's where I came from. Someone said Russia, Russia. Okay, fine. If you include Russia and Russia Adventure. But 2D is inherently easier than 3D, you know? But even still, Russia was kind of challenging. I mean, I mean, Rush wasn't hard, but there were some pits there that kind of, you know, made it a bit harder. Someone said, is this definitive SADX or regular I mean if you can't tell then clearly it doesn't matter does it <laughs> point made How can I serve you, Dr. Robotnik? <laughs> someone said I love your streams it's like a safe zone of people who share my opinions I mean I like to feel like my streams are a safe zone for any Sonic opinions regardless like if you're the biggest Colors fanboy, you can still join my stream. You can still praise colors. You know, you can you can have whatever opinion you want in my stream. But I mean, you you can't slander heroes, otherwise we're gonna throw hands. But aside from that, you know, yeah, you just got all notes on it. You, you're done. Someone said Rush had better levels and control to colors. I mean, facts though. Like, come on, like Rush is my favorite boost game. Let's be real. In terms of boost levels, Rush. Even over Unleashed, yeah. Because Unleashed, like, the whole experience is why I, I like it more. But Rush just has those those clean boost levels of so the trick system and everything. I know you're not an evil sort. Wait, remember me? 
So I can tell she's looking at Amy like, what the fuck is she doing? I always thought Gamma looked like he was jacking off in these scenes where he was just shaking all over the place. Amy. Oh, I really don't get this. <laughs> Someone said hashtag slander here. What? Huh? Huh? Raggy? What? Someone said, is it sad that Sonic is the easiest boss? I mean, it's not like he died or anything. He just got shot a few times and said, oh no. I'll nail that egg man. What would you rate colors and CD? In my tier list, I put colors at B and CD at D. Contrary to to popular belief, I don't actually hate colors. I just I just think it could have I just think they took the extra acts of Unleashed and made those main acts. And then only Act One was like really fleshed out and that was it. And then like they, like Sonic One taught you like three acts is too much. Sonic two made it two for a reason. That's why Sonic Two is the perfect like Sonic game in my opinion, because it understood the formula. Act one is a level. Act two is a level with boss at the end. Done. Sonic 3 kind of complicated it. We're going to have an, a boss in every single act. Like, come on. Give me one level with no with no boss. Like, chill. And then Sonic 1 was just like, we'll do three acts. Like, no. So, Sonic 2 had the perfect structure. Which, of course, heroes used as well. Act 1, Act 2, boss. That's the best structure. Colors comes in. Six acts of the same area. And then, like, and then boss. That's like seven acts. Of, of the same environment like, like like what is that we can't we can't we, uh, that, that's wrong imagine if it was gens that did that green hill six x and then seventh act of green hill boss chemical plant six x and then seven act of boss i need to stop talking over gamma's few lines in this entire story if you have the stone of wind, oh, so okay, Mr. Grooms. Where do you think Sonic would be if you got a 3D Saturn game? Mm, I don't really know. I guess it depends on the reception of said game. Come on, Gamma. I know robots aren't good at going upstairs, but come on. Mmm. 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 I literally forgotten when I'm supposed to go and get the second upgrade. So someone needs to remind me. Someone said handed it like unleashed it act act one, two and Yeah, like but with Unleashed it wasn't mandatory, you know, like it was there, you could play it. I like, unleashed had a whole extra act where it was literally just like it was in an arid sands, it was literally just a slew of QTEs. Which as a bonus act, it's like cool, whatever. Like I enjoyed that level. But it's not it should not be a mandatory act. People like to slander heroes because oh four teams and you have to play the same stages four times. But they didn't make it they didn't make it such that you play Team Sonic um Seaside Hill and then Team Dark Seaside Hill right after and then Team Rose Seaside Hill right after and then Chaotic Seaside Hill right after and then Seaside Hill boss. Like no. It was you do one team in one sitting or fourteen unique original masterpiece of levels and then if you want to do Team Dark in another sitting, fine. But it's not together. And I guess you could argue, or in colors, you could, you know, play the act one and then go to the other act because they are not like three acts or three zones at a time. So you could argue that, but it's still built in a way where it wants you to do six stages of the same area linearly as if this is a fucking new Super Mario Bros. game. Mm, why am I spending so much time, like, killing these enemies to get a lower time when it's not even hard? I keep, you know, it's only like one gamma level way the time actually can actually go down. I swear the game just did that glitch on me where the, t the health went back up again. Oh well, we're done. Someone said, that, did someone die? Well, the voice actor for Gamma died when SA2 came out. You can even add, like, Unleash had so much great DLC. Unleash had so much additional content. Oh my gosh. It's so sad that that game just got did so dirty in the review scores. It's sad. 
But yeah, this is another reason why I like the mech stages in SA2 more. Like, this is this the, this whole level, like, it's not bad, but it's so easy. Like, I felt like I didn't do anything. Like, I just did a bit of shooting, and then, you know, I was done. Wait, am I doing ice cap? Wait, no, does Gamma have ice cap? See, I'm rusty as fuck. But it opened the other rock, so I'm assuming I should go there. Oh, Red Mountain. Yeah, Red Mountain. Someone said Unleashed is the best boost game out of college gens and forces. I agree. Wow, really? That small thing, I have to jump over it. Someone was saying that they should do... I think someone in the chat before was talking about... I know I'm not supposed to go here, but I'm bored. Someone was talking about they wanted an adventure reimagined instead of just a blatant remake. If they were going to do something like that, then I would want more levels. Because, I mean, four levels for Gamma? Like, come on, there's more cutscene than level. Which, I guess... Back when SA1 came out, that was impressive because the cutscenes kind of were mind-blowing at the time. So I could see why they, they would do something like that. Plus, if you really suck to the levels, there wouldn't actually be more cutscene than levels. Because um, I know how to play the levels that it's a lot easier. But yeah, I could finish this campaign in under an hour if I was playing a lot faster. I could finish it in less than 30 minutes if, you know, I was fucking, like, not watching all the cutscenes. Which I guess you couldn't do that on Dreamcast, but yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Danny Phantom theme is ripped off in this song. I mean, Danny Phantom ripped off this song, because if you listen to it... Oh, that's a life. I thought it was an Eggman box. Yeah, I'm going to go back for that. Not like I'm going to run out of time, right? If you listen to the... Gonna catch him on, because he's Danny Phantom. Like, you know, if you listen closely, you can hear it. Do, 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 All right. Yeah, like, 10 seconds for that. Like, I should have no problems doing this. Now I feel like playing the SA2 mech levels. I will go in on some, like, some Lost Colony right now. Some, some Cosmic Wall. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, if they did an adventure remake, a ranking system needs to be added. Like, I need incentive to, like, go in. Like, honestly. Because only, like, one gamma level where the time... You actually really have to be careful. Otherwise, you won't get it in time. And that's, like... That's the one with, like, the pink boss. Which I don't even remember which one that is. Is it Epsilon or whichever the fuck? You know. But right now, I've got so much time left. <laughs> Next time when your videos have swearing in it, please censor them. Fuck no, I'll do whatever the fuck I want to do, like, people who say that, like, do, like, if you don't like it, don't watch, nobody is forcing you, oh god. Alright, yeah, see I've got 2 minutes 39 left to defeat what, this guy, like, I know we give forces flak, but there's some, like, really easy stuff in adventure like stuff that you know if i didn't grow up with the game i probably wouldn't have let slide but it's another reason why if they remake it they have to go in like they could make these levels way harder way longer like i know people be scared that they'll change too much which is kind of the problem which is why they should probably just make a new game honestly but i don't know Someone said, of all the times some team could have released a mediocre game, it was in 2017 alongside Zelda, Cuphead, Crash, Mario, and Mania. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they dropped forces after Odyssey. Like, did they did they really think that was going to work? So I'm actually afraid to answer this. They should have dropped it before Odyssey. Like, a week before, you beat it, and then you move along with your life, and then go and play Odyssey. A week after Odyssey? And then you want me to play forces? Like, nah. Like, no, no. Someone said, Premi, what is your real name? Premulus Doremson. That's not sure on why. Mm. 
Someone said they should have cut Big and had more gamma stages. If they do a remake, I still think they should keep Big as like Perhaps a bonus. Aboard the egg carrier. Mm, 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 mm. I think, yeah, Big could have been a bonus mode. I think a lot of people, someone said this in a review, but even though Big's gameplay isn't what Sonic should be, a lot of the reason why people didn't like it is because it wasn't fun. Like, there, you know, there's probably better fishing games out there, you know. To have it as a bonus mode would have been fine, but mm, I wouldn't have missed it, just put it that way. Alright, so I need to find the egg carrier. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Can I just go down there? Yep, yeah, I can. Mm -mm. Yeah, if they keep big, they must improve how fishing works. My real name is youtube.com slash premios. That's my real name. Right, I've done I've done Red Mountain, I've done Emerald Coast, I've done Windy. This is last stage, like we're literally almost done. So yeah, I need to get I think I have to get the upgrade. Unless I've already not gotten it. Like I think you have to get it by a certain time, otherwise you can't get it. Do 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 this is the room we went in before, right? Yeah, let's go in here. Is it? I don't think we're here. I don't think it's the right room. Yeah, I don't know. We've gone into a rabbit hole. Other room, someone said. Okay, cool. Other room. Oh, it's the opposite room, isn't it? Is it the one over there? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check this room then. There we go. So was it locked before? Because I think I tried this room and I couldn't get in. Laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Mm, cool, so we got that. If they do an adventure three though, like I think I don't know if Eggman should be playable, but obviously Tails should control like a flight character. But you could give mech levels to um what's his name? Omega. That would be fucking sick. I don't know if someone's even done that, like modded Omega into SA2. Now, where's the hot shelter? Alright, cool. Hot shelter time. It only unlocks when the air carrier crashed. Alright, this is the only level where I feel like the timer was more challenging. And even then, it's been a while, so I could go in and still slay it. I don't know. Alright. Which way are we going? No, that's the bathroom. No, that's not the way. Alright, nice. Hit that. Hey, 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 come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow. You're, you're gonna do, you're gonna do me like this game. I see you, I see you. Alright, so we hit the switch. It's the only level that felt like more challenging. That's that's the way I see it. Like, what's your opinion on Sonic Three Air? Um, wow, wow, I just messed up that jump. Reading chat. Um, I mean, it's not, it did everything it needed to do, right? It's a remaster of Sonic Three. If you like Sonic Three and Knuckles, then you should like Sonic Three Air. Really, that's it. Like, 
it's not like they did anything wrong. It's not like they omitted something from the game for me to go, oh, it's missing this or it's missing that, you know. All right. All right, they're going to waste so much time on this movement. Someone's asking me to react to movies. Um, um, I don't really know how that works with copyright and stuff, but probably not good. I don't even know if I'll be able to react to the Sonic movie trailer without getting copyright claimed. Alright, yeah, I'm wasting too much time. I need to get some more combos and increase my time. Wow, talk about damage boosting. Alright. Take that route. This is definitely my favorite gamma level because it's actually, like, decently challenging. It's not as easy as the others you felt like they were just getting started as well like like if they had just kept going down this these are fan-made plushy movies uh, i'm not really into the plushy thing so i don't know what reaction you want to get from me but it's probably not going to be an amazing one one second why just destroy like a bunch of shit Alright, this is the one we have to hit the switch and then get there in time. Oh god. This is how people waste time in this level. Oh, cop! Yeah. Come the fuck on! If I run out of time thanks to this, I swear. Yeah, this is this is the level that you run out of time on because of shit like that. The time is still moving, but I can't move. All right, we're gonna have to be a lot quicker now because I'm running out of time. Okay, go here. Wow, okay, no. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm supposed to go there. Alright, yep. Yeah. Clearly I'm I'm clearly messing up. Alright, guess get some more time here. Done with this section. All right, hit that. All right, fifty one seconds. <sighs> we should have enough time. combo yeah this is like your extra time section 25 seconds oh I missed the next one all right nice okay we got a minute 35 we should be good we should be good now we almost said how come you're barely on Facebook I'm bored of Facebook Facebook's lame like <laughs> Alright. I, mean, I don't know what to say. I remember as a kid, this boss was so hard for me. I guess I didn't figure out the almighty, like, formula of mashing buttons. Because if I had figured that out, then it would have been, you know, pretty easy. And land, I think we're done. I think it's a boss. Yeah, it's a boss, and that's it. Man, these these stories are so quick. If they did a remake here, yeah, they'd have to add more levels and flesh out the existing levels as well. How do you even stream for an hour and I'm almost done? 
Like when I did the Dean Bristol appreciation stream, we played like, because he was in a lot more, he was in Shuffle as well, I didn't play Shuffle, but we played SA1 um, to experience Eggman, we played SA2 mech stages, we played obviously the GOAT heroes, um, we did a lot, you know. But with this, it's like, okay, we play Gamma Stone, what am I supposed to do? Like, go and show off the one old echidna? Or am I supposed to listen to the Mystic Rune, Rune's train? Like, am I supposed to, you know, show off the President SA2? I don't know. Someone said, why would Azuka feel the need to mission a new game if it wasn't going to be shown this year? That's what I said, but people like Twip think that we're not going to get a game this year because he's twip. He also thought we weren't going to get gameplay in South by Southwest 2017, and of course he was wrong. Beta. Of course we're getting a 2019 Sonic game. Like, why? why? People need to trust me more. Alright. Let's finish this off. Alright. This boss is actually decently challenging. It's not really like tough or anything, but it's definitely good. Oh yeah, he fobs off all your regular moves. You have to hit him at a certain point. Which I've forgotten what that point is, so I'm just gonna keep mashing until I figure it out. Yeah, I need to learn this boss again. I think he comes at you in a specific way. And then that's when you hit him. Like, he looks tired or something. I remember how futuristic this looked, because he has those weird, like, motion blur movements and shit. Alright, there we go. Okay, dude, can you get to the point where I can hit you? Oh, I was supposed to have hit him already. Oh, there's actually a downwards time on this boss. I didn't know that. I just always beat it in time. But yeah, I need to actually put more effort now. Because otherwise, I'm going to run out of time. There we go. Kramer, do you think Team Sonic Race will be good? It'll be okay. I mean, I don't know what other people are going to think, but I don't think I'm going to be in love with it. Especially with Crash Team Racing coming out a month later, like... Oh, this is the part where he shoots like five of them at you. Yep. Oh really? I walked into the explosion like ages after it was done. You're still gonna you're still gonna do me like that game. Ugh, I just messed up the last hit as well. Oh really you're gonna give me this again? I'm about to run out of time. <laughs> Which I've never actually done on this boss. Alright, come on. Like, no more joking around. Let's finish this shit off. Alright, done. That was a horrible run of the boss. Prim, how long has it been since you played this game? Uh, it's been a while. Definitely a longer while since I've played Gamma. I don't really go back to Gamma as much. I mean, I love his story, but... Like... The levels, as I said, like, SA2, like, Eggman levels are just so much more fun. I kind of feel like playing them now, to be honest. If there was like a Gamma mod for SA2, I totally would have done that. Yeah, I never realized the boss was timed as well, because I always just beat it, like, you know. And he gets that final hit. Mm 
Frame, you think we'll ever get a Sonic movie trailer? Eventually. Time for that epic but sad music soon. Someone said, people say the story was so deep and emotional. I can see that now, but as a kid, I was confused. Then I was like, okay, I just die. I actually had that same thing as a kid. Because I wasn't paying attention to the story. I just kind of like, oh, okay, like, I just died. Like, why? I'm a robot. Like, well, you know. Wow. I've been streaming for just over an hour. And the story is done. Someone said Crash Team Racing looks more generic than Team Sonic Racing. I have no idea if people excited about that game. Um, put it this way. Team Sonic Racing looks beautiful. It's not a visual thing. That's not the problem. The problem is it lacks depth in mechanics and challenge. It's just so basic in gameplay. That's how I see it. I, Crash looks beautiful as well. There was like this electro stage that was just so amazing looking. But Crash just has better mechanics. That's also why Mario Kart is so solid as well. You know, just the drift mechanics to the chomping on ramps to get boost to the anti-gravity to all sorts of things. Like, it's just the power-up system is better. Like, Premier, on your channel, will you play first-person shooters? Well, subscribe to the non-Sonic channel, link in the description, and you will see some. I actually recorded one already. It's not up yet, but it will go up eventually. Mm -mm -mm. Someone said they left when I was done with Emerald Coast, and now I'll come back to see you done. Yep. Story is that short. Someone said I would like to see Sonic setting in, including Season 3 remade in modern Sonic form. Satin mm -hmm. is fine in its own form. I don't think it needs to be redrawn with modern Sonic and then revoiced by Roger. Like, what's Knuckles' favorite food? I don't know. Prem, do you think Sega may still do a late reveal for 2019 Sonic game? We're getting a 2019 Sonic game. Prem has said it, so it's happening. We are getting a 2019 Sonic game. Sega will not let a movie come out without capitalizing on that with a game. We're getting a game, probably going to release in November. They're just not telling us now. They already told us they're working on something. They told us for a reason. They didn't tell us so that we could wait until 2020. They're working on something for 2019, okay? They're going to crash Team Racing. Sorry. Team Sonic Racing is coming out in May. E3 is in June. They need to promote the next game, Team Sonic Racing. They don't want people to say, I'm saving my money for the main series game. They want you to feel like Team Sonic Racing is all that's there, so you pay for it. So, what you do is you talk only about Team Sonic Racing. It comes out, you promote it hard for a month, get everyone to buy it. Then when that E3 hype hits, you go, here's the trailer for the Sonic game that's releasing alongside the movie. Bam, November 2019. That's it. Someone said Crash Team Racing has less mechanics than TSR. That's not really true. What mechanics does TSR have? You drive, you have a basic drift, and then that's it. Oh yeah, your teammates can follow your trail. 
So basically, the shit that Riders was doing, basically with the wind, things have been not like. Pretty much version of 06 is better. 360 or PS3. 360. Prime, consider the following. The movie will probably not do too well, so if something doesn't look good, they may not want to do a game at the same time, even if they originally planned one. Yeah, but the movie redesign was revealed in December 2018. You know? And Forces came out November 2017. What do you think they've been doing since that time? They're not going to stop the game just because people didn't like the movie design. At most, they'll just not use the movie design. They'll use the modern Sonic design. But there'll still be a game. They will still be like, oh, the movie is here. People go and watch it. They'll go, oh, we've got a game as well. Like, it's just bound to happen. Happened with Boom. It wasn't really a movie, but it was a TV show. And there were two games. Like, there's going to be a game. Like, like I see it no other way. There's a movie that doesn't happen every day when it comes to Sonic. There's a movie. They'll drop a game to capture. I'm not saying it's going to use movie Sonic render. I don't know. But there'll be a game this year. Unless it gets delayed. But they're aiming for this year. I know that for sure. And yep, yeah, we finished sharing the story in an hour. Um, unless people want to see me do like the extra stuff, like I guess there's some extra like missions. I've already done these before, but I could do them again if I. I don't even remember what they are to be honest. Um, let me see. What's the second mission? Collect fifty ring. Okay, yeah, that's easy. I don't even have to destroy the target. Let me just get the rings. Someone said play Unleashed on Emulator. I would, but this is the Steve Brody stream, so I can't really do that now. But I have, now that I've got Unleashed working better on the Emulator, I probably will do an Unleashed on Emulator stream. Wait, where the fuck are the ring? Oh, this is why I had to go and find that extra area. Okay, there's a way up there. If I could just remember it. I know there's a way up there. There it is, spring, spring, found it. Yep. Wait, where the rings at? Oh, there we go. Prem, do you like Force of Speed Battle? I played it a bit when it came out. It's cool for a mobile game, but I don't really play it anymore. Who is Steve Brody? The voice of Gamma. I feel like I'm the only person who knows this. Yeah, I could probably beat these extra missions in like no time. If people want me to fit, I could end the stream. I could, I could just, you know, stop now. I don't know. What's the third mission? With more than 150 seconds remaining. Which is what, 90? That's a minute and a half, right? Yeah, so, yeah, that even the extra missions are easy. With more than 150 seconds remaining. Oh, no, 150 is... No, that's that's 2 minutes 30. Okay, actually, that's actually a bit challenging, yeah. But I still did it. Someone said there are at least 5 O6 streams. Oh, that's like a million O6 streams. Like, I, I always be streaming O6, like, literally. All right. Just like that. Is it five? I thought it was four levels. Oh, it's five. Come on. All right, 50 rings. All right, let's try not to lose rings. But yeah, the levels are so easy that most of them, except the last one, you could probably avoid doing shooting for most of these enemies. And still beat it with time to spare. Alright, we've got enough rings now. Like, you have to remember, these are the bonus missions. And they're still, like, really easy. Like, it just makes you want to play SA2 mix stage. But I'm thinking about it right now. Like, I'll have to do an SA2, like, mix stage stream at some point. Look how many rings they give you as well. You only need 50. They give you so many just in case you don't get it straight away. And it's like, oh, you know, you lose your rings or whatever. Then you can still go back and, you know, beat it. 
Rapture complete. Someone said end stream is starting all the way with Unleashed. Nah, not today. But there'll be an Unleashed stream at some point, but not today. Select a stage. All right, 108 seconds. 108 seconds is three minutes. Okay, actually, that's kind of tough. All right, I'm going to have to get more time than that. Yeah, so I need to have three minutes on the clock. I'm already under that. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Yeah, I didn't even beat that. Yeah. Okay, that's actually a tough one. That's a tough one. Preparation complete. Select a stage. I think I just need some better combos. All right, ten seconds. Mm -mm. There we go. I just got. I just got to go a bit more in with the combos. There we go. Those combos are integral. Someone said they've only been in two Sonic games. The first was Gen and the second was Forces. Is that because you're young or because those are the only ones easy enough for you to beat? Someone said only the enemies give you time. I'm aware of that, but, you know, I still shoot up everything because why not, you know? Select a stage. I'm probably not gonna do all of these because they most of them are easy. It's only the A ones that are a bit tough and I just don't wanna go through that. Mm -mm -mm. Someone said play SADX ones. Uh, time taken to set set all of those up. I didn't prepare for it on stream. What do you think about the Tails and Knuckles? They're good characters? I don't know. Am I really gonna end the stream after an hour? <laughs> I mean, I beat Gamma's story with cutscenes. Like, what more am I supposed to do? Like, you know, it's, it's the Brody stream. Like, do I have to do things related to, you know, Gamma? He didn't get much. So, like, what do I do? You know? I guess I can show off, um... I could try and um, show off the president. Because he voiced the president in SA2. I could, I could attempt to... I haven't even set up the game yet <laughs> since I reinstalled Windows. I forgot about that. We'll see if it runs. Someone said play Unleashed on PS Now. Why would I play on PS Now when I have emulator? I'll see if I can open SA2. And if I can, then I might just, um, I guess, show off the president. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, he voiced the president in SA2. If I can skip straight to that cutscene, then I might just um, show it off. All right, 4K. Um, someone said you have binary domain. What is that? Whoops. Volume, volume, volume.
Alright, cool. Steve Brody and Dean Bristow died way too soon. Yep. Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Story select. Wait, which is the one of Route 99? Like, how do? Which one is the quickest one to get to Route 99? Because that's where the prisoner scene is, right? I just want to get as quick to that point as possible. Do I have my own house? No. <laughs> I wish. Is it where's Eggman? Everyone's saying where's Eggman, so we'll go with that. Oh, I love this song, the bass. Mm -hmm. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, I'm not getting a signal from the mm -hmm. six remaining Chaos Emeralds. Mm -hmm. Maybe Eggman moved the Emeralds into outer space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Outer space? Knuckle just shows up out the sewer. Long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the master emerald pieces was tougher than I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckle. I managed to find the transcript of the president in the government computer. I'm following the president's limo right now. If we get into the limo. We can trace the call to find Eggman. I can skip this right. I don't need to watch that. <laughs> Root. Why did I keep saying? I kept saying Route 99, wasn't I? I meant Route. I meant Route 101. I was thinking of Advance, which I need to. I need to stream Advance. I wonder if I should try and do that thing where I like. We can, you know, spin around. Ugh, flop. I used to be able to do it so well, now I can't do it. Be able to do that shit like so well, I can, I can barely do it. Oh, got it, got it. Yep, we out here, we out here. Oh, I didn't get to keep it though. Oh well. So what? How do you get the boost? Is it from the balloons or is it just like? Whenever, like, I almost fell there. Wow. Oh, the boost is the balloons, isn't it? Done. Someone said, just use the wisp ram. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Let me just use laser and beam myself to the president. Look at that backdrop, the skybox, like the buildings, the lower res image. Oh my god. I didn't even think that would have looked good in 480p. Hey, hey, what's the game doing? Hey, 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 hey. What's this? Game. Don't be messing around. Is 
Someone said this level is more 3D than colors. <laughs> Someone's gonna calculate that. I spent three minutes on this level to calculate the amount of 3D in colors. And be like, it's two minutes, 57 minutes of, of seconds of 3D in colors. Mr. President, reports show that since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. All right. Our financial communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. An emergency meeting has been called. Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Spare me the details. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Edna. <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall we? President you know. the details since I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise. 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 Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. And you have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What? Just leave it to us. I remember when that shit became a meme. I got it. He's transmitting from the space colony Ark. Okay, let's move it. Wait up, Sonic. I remember the president's secretary president having her own theme when the game was menu. I don't even know that. Is this where they make us do the knuckles level? Hidden base. Well, I mean, it's a mech level. I mean, we should, we should do it. Okay, after this, then we're ending the stream. Did I really? Did I really? All right. Well, that wasn't the best start. Okay, but. I love the mech levels in this game. I really do. I mean, the Eggman ones are better, but. Tails has some fun ones too. Alright, break that. There's just so much more platforming in the in the, the SA2 ones. Okay. And you get to hear Tails say okay like a million times. And there's a, the enemies are more more of a threat, I should say. Because you have a health bar, you can't just like with rings. You could just you know hold on to a ring and then that's it. But with a health bar, you gotta be like, oh shit, like I'm running out of health. I mean, you can grab rings to try and raise it again, but it's not the same as just being able to stay perfectly alive as long as you have one one ring. But Tails levels definitely have a bit more BS in them, like compared to say like, you know, to say like Eggman's levels, which are a bit more, like for example, Eternal Engine, like there's so many like BS moments that you have to like already be aware of, like, you know, it's trial and error. Whereas Eggman's levels were like, I feel like they were better designed. But I can still have fun of the Tails levels. I just love, I love, I love how the hover is more fluid and I can just like aim at enemies as I'm flying. And like, because the scoring system is a ranking system, like you're, you're incentivized to get those, those sweet combos because it's like, bam, like I'm going to get these combos and it's going to get me that A rank. Well, not, not now because I died, but you know, I, if I was actually playing good. Wait, it's the Mystic Melody section? I don't think I've ever been to this path, ever. And it's just a child key. Wow. I don't think I've ever gone this way. Dead ass. Oh well. We live in. 
Someone said you better retract that message, right? What message? Did someone slander heroes and delete it? Really just ruin my combo. Ugh. He slandered Gamma. Oh, yeah. Delete that shit. Yeah. Can't be slandering the homie. But yeah, like, look at this. It's like the next stages are like fast paced platforming. Like, I love how much platforming is in these levels. Is that Eggman on the on the sand thing? I didn't even notice that. I think I know about this route. Spring is playing upwards. Wait. I don't even. I'm just gonna keep going this way. There's just so much more hover platforming here. It's just so much more fun. Someone says shadows. Like, who is this dude with these, these wrong takes? Let me stop showing your 100% save file. I mean, I don't have 100% save file for SA2, so I have nothing to show really. And that's I died, so that's an E rank easily. This ain't generations. Clean E. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. All right. My bad. <laughs> oh. I hate how Sonic Team is aware that people want on Lucian PC, yet yeah, they don't do it. Well, um, Tails' fight is so jacked up here, like, I don't know why. Well, the reason why is because, um, basically, Sega Europe handle the ports. So, yeah. I'm not about to play Pyramid Cave. I'm not about to play Pyramid Cave. I'm about to play Pyramid Cave. Mm, 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 mm. People are gonna join the stream right now and be like, what the fuck does this have to do with SA1 and Gamma Prem? Like, you lied, you clickbaited us, Prem. This is why we don't like you, Prem. Always baiting us. Uh, this is why it's good that you quit YouTube, Prem. Well, not quit YouTube, but you retired from the Islamic channel, Prem. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Well, not retired, semi retired, but still. Well, technically, they're helping the president, right? They said, leave it to us. Hey, and Gamma's in this level, technically. Like, come on. Except this time, you know, we're destroying him, you know? So, it's still a Gamma stream. Leave me alone. Like, go go away. I didn't hit the... Yeah, I didn't hit the... Yeah. Didn't Steve Brody voice some Yeah, he voiced the president. We already showed off the president cutscene that he voiced, so yeah. Get off me! Oh, I thought I was gonna mess that up, but no, I still landed on the rail. Get the fuck 
off. You think Max Charles would be a good voice for Sonic? I don't know who that is, so, you know, you can send me a link of his clips and I'll listen to them if he's attempted a Sonic voice. Let's leave one, let's leave one Gamma alive in, in memory of Steve Brody. We won't kill that one. Let's leave him alive. The ghost's trying to get me out here, but I'm not going to let them. the death chamber also has gamma ah, I, I think I'll pass on death chamber I'm, I'm good I'm good speaking of which when is 100p's birthday maybe I need to do a 100p appreciation stream That flopped me. God damn. Yes. Lords, I finished Gamma's story. It was like like less than an hour long. What was I supposed to do? I even did extra missions. Like <laughs> extra missions. Too easy. Piece of cake. Like what? <laughs> I ran out of things. Wait, it's a death chamber time. We're skipping that shit. No, we're skipping that shit. No, we are skipping that shit. No, we're out. We're out. We're out. Play it again until you can recite his script. I mean, he says this presents a problem. He mentions robot names. Rescue complete. And then, of course, he says. Hand me the bird. Which is his best line, obviously. Like, I'm out. I'm out of things. I'm gonna have to end the stream soon anyway. The house is gonna get noisy soon. Someone said David Humphrey stream? When is his birthday? Let me see. Hmm. 30th August. Oh, David Humphrey's birthday is a day before mine. Shit, I didn't even know that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Someone said play Gamma and Shuffle. If I had Shuffle, I would, but I don't. I'm going to do one last stage, which has, like, no relation to Gamma at all. But it builds off the gameplay that, that was made in Gamma, right? It's Iron Gate, right? So, like, we have to, right? It's the last day that I end off the stream. This is like one of the first, if not the first, Sonic level I played. Okay, not not the first. I'm imagining myself as a kid who could not like beat most of the treasure hunting levels, and it was kind of like, you know, I played the hero story, probably got stuck on like, you know, fucking meteor herd or some shit or death chamber, and I'm like, I can't beat this game. And then let me try dark story. Then it was Iron Gate, so that's probably when I played this. Someone said, can we expect a Griffith stream? I mean, I tend to do it on like milestone birthdays. I don't think Griffith is turning 40 anytime soon. Not to say that just because he's not turning 40, I shouldn't stream his games, but I mean, I stream so much 06 and now I stream Unleashed as well. So like I'm already pretty much always celebrating Griffith. You should have played Hero since Omega has more to do with Gamma than Eggman. I mean, I guess, but you know me. If I start playing Heroes, it's never going to end. Like, I didn't want to turn it into a Hero stream because the GOAT, like, I would have played the whole of Team Dark. And I was really supposed to end it after Gamma's story. I just didn't 
think it would be over like that quick. You know, like not that quick. I'll just add SA2 to the title when I publish the stream. We'll be all good. I'm still good at this level though. Like I slay this level. What about Ryan Drummond? Does he have a big birthday coming up? I think he's almost 40. Or in no, he's in his 40s. I think. Or he's almost 40. Someone can Google that for me. Right, let's try and get this combo. He's 46. All right, when he turns 50, then <laughs> that's a whole four years from now. Wow. Thing is, I stream most of these games anyway, so it's like I mean. I've streamed SA2 before, I've streamed SA1 a lot, I've streamed Heroes a lot. So, like, I'm always appreciating Drummond, you know? I try and save these streams for, like, the underappreciated. But sure, if Mike Pollock turns 60, I'll do a Mike Pollock appreciation stream. Play me some 06, you already know. Graham, you should play Spark the Electric Dress on the Premier's channel. Initially, I was going to do that on this channel because it's kind of similar to Sonic. But just because it's not Sonic, I wouldn't get views unless I put Sonic in the title. So there'll be no point, right? So, I don't know. So I guess I probably will have to do it on the non-Sonic channel. Someone said play gens. No. Ugh. Give me that A rank, boy. Now you know why I am the best. Alright, yeah. We're done with that. I have to end off the stream anyway, it's getting, it's not getting late, but, you know. We'll end off with some gamma music, because it should have been, I've A-ranked Cosmic Wall, don't get it twisted, I slay the Eggman levels. I will slay Cosmic Wall, but, you know, we're going to end off the stream with the theme of E102 Gamma to commemorate a legend of voice acting, Steve Brody. Or Shepherd Brody. So yeah, voice of Gamma, voice of Hack Hack. I didn't even know that guy's name, but the Echidna dude, which I never actually showed off because he wasn't in Gamma's story. I'd have to go into like Sonic story to show that off. But mm. and then the president SA2, born April 17th, 1949. Died August 10th, 2001. If that date is correct, because the internet, like, you know, it's all over the place. Someone said you have to stream Black Knight. Maybe if I don't play it on my own, then I'll stream it. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching and tuning in. I'm gonna leave you guys with the gamma music. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, check out the non sign channel link in the description. Um. What else? If you want to join the become a channel member of this channel, the link is also in the description. But yeah, thanks for all the support. And yeah, man. Moment of silence. Finish off this song for Steve Shepard Brody. And yeah, Dremi out.